Welcome to the Spiritual Sense Kundalini Yoga for Beginners. This is part of the series that is only 10 minutes long and it's made for everyone. And today we're going to focus on the root chakra and letting go of stress, overthinking, and getting back from outside the higher um, chakras and into the lower chakra. So a lot of times when we're overthinking, our crown and human design may be open and we are absorbing energies, um, mental energies all around us. And this practice will help you get grounded into your root chakra so that you can be more present throughout the day. So let's begin. Close your eyes, sit comfortably in a lotus or half lotus pose. You can either sit on a cushion or on the floor and close your eyes and Place your palms together. Take a few deep breaths. And we're going to begin with our chant to begin the Kundalini Yoga. You can chant with me or listen along. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo May this Kundalini Yoga practice bring us back into our bodies, rooted into Mother Earth, rooted within our own selves. May we find peace within and may we radiate peace outside to everyone we come in contact with. Open your eyes and let's begin First, I like to do is rotate your spine a little bit back and forth. Um, I usually start every practice like this just because we hardly ever move our spine in this way. It helps you to rotate um, and let go some of the stiffness that we hold into our spine, um, especially the lower back. <clears throat> and for those of you who sit at your job, this is super helpful just a few times. So Sat, one half of the circle, and Nam, the other half. Sat, Nam. Sat, Nam. Sat, Nam. And you can stop. Now relax your body, relax your shoulders. We're going to do a spinal twist. So arms up in 90 degrees and connect your index finger with your thumb. And what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in on left and breathe out on right. So breathe in on one side and breathe out on the other, always through your nose and make sure your belly is always tucked in and um, contracted within. So for example, and we're going to be going pretty fast. Also in your mind, what you need to say or imagine in your mind is Sat Nam, Sat on inhale, Nam on exhale. So that way your mind is engaged, your body and your spirit. So it's all connected. This is how we tune out the mind and get back into our body. So let's begin. <sighs> Sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam.
and stop. Relax your shoulders, relax your body. Always make sure your spine is perfectly straight. Nothing is bent. Take a few deep breaths. We're going to do that to the opposite side. Breathe in on the right. Breathe out on left. Sat on right. Nam on left. Sat, nam, sat, nam. In, out, in, out. Let's begin. Arms up, 90 degrees. Sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat. Nam, sat, nam. And relax. Relax your shoulders. Put your hands on your knees. Now, if you've ever done a cat and cow pose, usually you are on your knees. Um, so now we're going to do cat and cow pose seated as you are right now. And you're going to curve your back out. So your back and the, is going to be curved out. And you're going to feel every vertebrae extending and expanding. And then you're going to contract in. And make sure that... Um, you're not experiencing any pain. Um, make sure that you are following um, your intuitive sense on what you can do, what you cannot. And what we're going to do is inhale on out, exhale on in. So... And you don't have to go a fast pace, but as you get more pro progressed in your Kundalini yoga practice, you want to do more faster um, repetitions. So let's begin. And I'm going to just demonstrate what it looks like on the side. That might be helpful. Nam, sat, 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 nam. relax that should feel really 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 good I love this one sit back in the original position and now what we're gonna do is um, focus on the root chakra it is the first chakra. Um, this is where we get grounded. Um, the color is red. The mantra for root chakra is LAM. So we're going to uh, meditate on that phrase. You can say it with me. The louder, the better. What is important when you're saying these mantras is that you say it with intention in a very powerful, strong voice. Because that expels any energies that you have blocking you, any wounds and fears. Because your voice carries a lot of frequency of where you are in your journey. So notice how you're saying these mantras. It's really powerful. Um, and it's okay if you 
start out kind of softer but then as you progress you feel more powerful and literally this is what gets you mostly grounded the louder you say it i notice we start to get out of the ego and get into the oneness with who we are be beyond what we look like beyond our personality and who we are in this life so let's begin close your eyes sit in lotus or half lotus pose your hands can be on your knees or you can hold any um, any position that you want um, hand positions hand gestures i'm forgetting my words and um, close your eyes and we're going to repeat lam while focusing on the road chakra in the lower belly below your belly button and also in the back very back of your spine that is where your root chakra is front and back imagine it spiraling healthfully vibrant red expelling anything that no longer serves you getting you grounded into your own inner true authentic self with but well, without further ado let's begin <sighs> take a few deep breaths Also, these mantras are easier to say when you inhale and saying it on the exhale. Lam. Lam. make sure your stomach is tucked in and it's always active it's contracted in as well as your lower um, parts in your um, body contracted in lam lam Open your eyes and we're going to do the same mantra while focusing on the tip of your nose so focus on the tip of your nose you will see an inverted v focus on that point and keep saying lam lam and faster lam 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 Lam. If your eyes get tired looking this way, you may close your eyes and then go back when you feel like you can go back. Lam. 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 and relax now feel the vibrations on your lips if you've said this mantra and feel your root chakra connecting you with a light cord extending connecting you to mother earth deep into the center core of earth imagine there's a pillar of light connecting you from your root all the way up your spine and to your crown going up into the heavens yet connecting you to the mother earth at the center of the earth this light is holding you grounded 
keeping your feet on the ground. Letting go of any mental energies that keep you scattered, overthinking, stressed. Let the stress wash away through this pillar of light circulating within your spine, grounding you to the present moment. The past, the future, the present are all here within you. Everything is colliding, everything is together. Yet only this moment it exists. Let go of the need to know the future, let go of the past. Focus only on the present. Focus on your body sensations. Now we're going to close this Kundalini Yoga practice with three times saying Om, close your eyes, palms together, and repeat with me or after me, or you may simply listen. Om. your eyes closed out loud you need to repeat this phrase with absolute intent and confidence say I am absolute clarity and very loud very loudly I am absolute clarity I am absolute clarity now rub your palms together to generate some energy and then rub your face with it your hair your neck chest stomach your legs and feet and then over your arms and hands and again rub your hands vigorously generate this energy clearing any energies that don't want to serve you over your body releasing releasing and letting go now hold your palms onto your root chakra below your belly button. Feel your root chakra grounded within your whole body focusing, your awareness focusing on that spot. Place your palms together. Namaste. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Seems like I usually go above 10 minutes, so Maybe uh, perhaps I should change the name, but I don't think it matters. Um, let me know what you guys think. And if you have any ideas for future Kundalini Yoga sessions, please like and follow and share and comment um, your thoughts on this series. I look forward to um, building more of these and um, to help us all get aligned and grounded and elevate consciousness. So thanks again and see you guys soon. Bye-bye.